Hey everyone, my name is Jamie from UC Berkeley's Peace Tutoring, and in this video, I'll be going over expected value and standard error. First, what is expected value? It's essentially a weighted average over all of the possible values of a random variable. The random variable here is represented by x. It's a variable representing a certain event, like the number of heads in eight coin tosses, the number of answers right on a test, or the number of wins in 50 rounds of blackjack. Each of these events has a set of all possible outcomes, where each possible outcome has a positive chance of happening. So with that information, you can draw out a distribution. All of that together makes up a random variable. With a random variable that has a number of iterations, like the sum of 10 coin tosses or the sum of winnings in a game, you get what's called an expected value and a standard error, sort of like an average and a standard deviation, but instead it takes into account weighted probabilities and the number of iterations that are considered. Let's take an example of rolling one die. So our random variable x is going to be the outcome of the die. We'll need to consider all of the possible outcomes of this variable, which of course is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Now, if you think about weighing all of the possible outcomes, well, they're all equally likely. Each outcome has a 1 out of 6 chance to which that number is the actual outcome. Now, if you perform a weighted average on all of the possible outcomes, you can find the value that you expect to get. Well, your expected outcome on the roll of a die is 3.5. Remember, it's not possible to roll a 3.5, but your expected outcome doesn't have to be in the set of possible outcomes. Now let's say you roll a die 100 times, and you want to know what is the expected value of the sum of all of the dice. You could do this the long way, where you write out all possible outcomes, which could be any integer from 100 to 600, and then calculate the probability of each outcome occurring. That's really tedious to do by hand, or rather you would probably just use a computer to do it. Or there's a smarter and quicker way to calculate expected value. First, you have to realize that each roll of a die is IID, or independent and identically distributed. Each roll has the exact same conditions as any other roll, and they don't affect each other. Thus, the expected value of 100 rolls is really just 100 times the expected value of one roll, which is 100 times 3.5, or you expect to get a sum of 350 on average. A popular way to draw out these expected value outcomes is with a box model. With this, you can easily visualize out harder problems by just throwing all the possible outcomes into a box and writing the probabilities of each outcome next to the value. But remember, the expected value of 100 rolls of a die is 350 on average, but you're not always going to get this number. If I did a random test right now, drawing 100 times from this box and then adding them all up, I'll probably get a different number, let's say like 312. You have to remember that your random variable is the sum of 100 die, and it has its own distribution with an expected value and a standard error. Standard error will tell you how far off you expect to be from the expected value, which represents the accuracy of your spread. And just like how expected value accounted for the number of die rolls or the number of draws from the box, standard error also accounts for the number of iterations your random variable has. So our formula here is the square root of the number of draws times the standard deviation of the box, which in our case is the square root of 100 times the standard deviation of one roll, which is 1.67. Now you can draw out the distribution of your random variable. Your expected outcome of the sum of 100 dice is 350, give or take 16.7 or so. Now let's look at another example, the game of roulette, commonly found in casinos. And in this game, you can place your bet on a number, color, evens or odds, or something else, and you get a certain payout depending on which category you bet on. 
Let's say we play by putting a $10 bet on red and play 100 games. If I win, I get $10, and if I lose, I'll lose my $10. I would like to calculate how much money I expect to walk away with at the end of the night, and what is the variability on that number. You might immediately jump into drawing a box that looks like this. There's 18 reds, 18 blacks, and two greens. And then think about pulling tickets out of this box, but don't jump too fast on this because this model is wrong. Think first, what exactly are you calculating? I want to know how much money I expect to win. So in this box, I should put a $10 ticket and a minus $10 ticket with their own separate probabilities. The chance of winning $10 is 18 reds over 38 slots and the probability of losing $10 is 20 slots over 38. And now I'm drawing from this box 100 times. And remember, because each game is independent and identically distributed, my expected value of the money I win in 100 games is just 100 times the expected number of dollars to win in one game. Doing the math of weighted values, that's just $10 times the probability of getting $10 plus negative $10 times the probability of losing $10. And because losing is more likely than winning, our expected value is negative 53 cents. And if you play this game 100 times, then you should expect to walk away with negative $53. But of course, you're not always going to walk out with exactly negative $53. There's a distribution on the random variable. So we need to calculate our standard error. And here's a little shortcut if you're doing the math by hand. If there's only two values in your box, the standard error can be computed as the bigger value minus the smaller value times the square root of the product of the two probabilities. For the roulette example, that's my higher value, $10, minus the smaller value, negative $10, times the square root of the two probabilities together, and that gets us a standard error of $10. To interpret this, you would say, if you play 100 games of roulette with two green slots, you expect to lose $53, give or take $10. That's a pretty bad deal, which is why you should always calculate the math first. All right, I hope this was helpful. I want to give a quick shout out to stats professor Gaston Sanchez for the use of some of his slides, and you can check out his website here. And thanks again to UC Berkeley's Peace Tutoring for setting up these educational videos. All right, good luck everyone.